Let's talk about the geology of rainbow moonstone. Rainbow moonstone is a type of plagioclase feldspar and is actually not the same as typical moonstone, but more of a cousin type. Typical moonstone is an orthoclase feldspar, so it's actually more scientifically accurate to refer to rainbow moonstone as a type of white labradorite. Rainbow moonstone can be formed through igneous, sedimentary, or metamorphic processes. Its most famous feature is an iridescence, which may be white, blue, or a full rainbow spectrum. This shimmer is also called the Schiller effect and is caused by tiny layers of various feldspar minerals, most notably albite, which are laid down during the crystallization process. It is commonly referred to as a moonstone because of its adrolorescence, but this light effect is actually caused by the same effect that causes adrolorescence in labradorite, which is referred to as a Schiller effect. The Schiller effect results from shattering light of different layers in thin feldspar sheets within the rock. When light enters the rock, it strikes a tweening surface and reflects the light off of that surface and the color you see is the color of light that is being reflected off of the twinning surface. Different twinning surfaces in the rock result in different colors of light being reflected. On the Mohs scale of mineral hardness, rainbow moonstone grades as a six to a six and a half. Most deposits of moonstone on the market come from India, Madagascar, Sri Lanka, and other bull notable deposits are found in Australia, Austria, Mexico, Switzerland, and even in the United States. Stay tuned for part three, where we're gonna talk about how to use rainbow moonstone and remember to like and follow us. And if you like any of these stones you see, we have them all available on our website at newmoonbeginnings.com.